right back to it, right? Alright, so Little Woman Now, Season 4, Episode 9, Road Tripping Part 2. Picking up what we left off, Abira says, <clears throat> you know, pretty much, you know. Hold on, what? Let's get this shit out now before we go back. So, ain't nobody in their feelings and whatnot. Amanda says, you act like somebody's supposed to be scared of you. Minnie calls <clears throat> her thigh. Abira says that, you know, uh, she'll take her due to she had one. Minnie says that she don't like men. Juicy is falling out laughing and that, and the surely thereafter goes ahead and pulls a beer all to the side. <clears throat> Moni woes up because she's trying to understand what is going on. And it's at this point that Minnie isn't saying anything. But <clears throat> you pretty much have Andrea and Amanda, you know, talking about everything and how, you know, Amanda was just like, you know, I had to step in, this and that, woo wop de woo and they pretty much say you won't uh, you wouldn't understand the dynamic because you know you're not a twin. <clears throat> Moni's trying to explain to them, okay, well, I kind of do understand because you know when my mother passed away, and Andrea's just like, <clears throat> excuse me, nobody's home about your motherfucking mama. And the way they came off is yeah, you kind of just called her mama motherfucking. Moni's just like, you know what, I'ma leave because I don't even want to go there with you. But she comes back to try to explain to them what I was trying to say. Is that I have a brother. When my mother passed away, we realized that we are all that we got. So if somebody comes at my brother, I'ma jump in like what? So I understand. But you know, they really weren't trying to hear it. And here's the thing, I understand, like <clears throat> me and my eldest brother, we don't always see eye to eye. We really don't get along. But don't get it twisted. I wish the fuck somebody would come the fuck around me and say shit about my brother. Because I'm going to go from not liking him in that moment to whooping your ass. And then once we get done whooping your ass, then I'm going to go back to not liking the motherfucker. It's that fucking symbol. So it's like you don't necessarily have to be twins to understand that dynamic. You don't. So, <clears throat> Moni, so all the, so, and when that exchange happened, it was just Moni, the twins, and Minnie. Chris and Jordan were um, fly fishing. The rest of the girls were already on the bus. Moni joins them on the bus and shares her story and she is like mad. And Sam gets upset because just like that's some disrespectful ass shit and both of those two girls are crying. And Chris walks up and pretty much told Andrea he's like you fucking wrong for that like ain't no fucking way around it. So they ride on a separate I think they rode like both groups rode on two separate buses. Um I think it was um, Moni and I forget who else. <clears throat> I think it might have been Minnie, but no, Moni and Moreland, I believe, were talking. I forget who, but Moni was talking to somebody. <clears throat> Andrea and Amanda walk up, and you know, Andrea is, you know, she cried, you know, because you know, I'm sorry, but she, you, you're only sorry because, you know, your boy, your man is mad at you. That's the only reason why you're sorry. So, again, I, I'm heartless, but again, miss me with the bullshit. <clears throat> so, at dinner, <clears throat> Chris is um, giving a toast. A beer chokes on her drink, which it sometimes happens. Amanda, you know, picks at her and many <clears throat> thanks Jordan and apologizes for, you know, getting people, I'm sorry, apologize for allowing people to get her out of character and put her in a situation where she don't belong. A beer thanks Jordan and she apologizes. <clears throat> and she says that, you know, she was bullied. So she felt attacked in that moment and that's why she said what she said me didn't care many walked off <clears throat> let me see so later on in a different scene many like they're all boot shopping many's in her feelings she pulls a beer off to the side she apologized for her comment she reveals uh why the weight thing the weight comment hit her so bad because you know the uh uh you know the whole heart failure food around the, uh around her heart and everything which has caused the weight gain and everything she starts to cry her and the beer you know a beer opens up about you know the whole pretty much the whole uh bitch word and why she responded the way that she did they apologize for the low blows and everything they bury the hatchet i hope we don't ever have to talk about this shit again they're at a bar and grill, and a guy tries to, you know, um, <clears throat> holler at uh, Andrea. Well, I'm sorry, ask her to dance. Chris leaves, he fell away. Chris and Andrea 
both feel like they're playing, you know, kindergarten games or whatnot. Chris comes back after Moreland talks to him, gives all the girls uh, um, <clears throat> a rose to include Andrea, but she's not feeling it. <clears throat> Later, those who talked, and you know, she pretty much says, like, I'm done with chasing you around or whatnot. And he even said that he left because he was trying to keep them from having another moment in front of everybody. And they agree they're both making progress and, you know, eight. That's pretty much all that it was for them. And at the very end of the episode, uh, Jordan apolog I'm sorry, proposes, <clears throat> and Andrea feels away. <clears throat> I couldn't really see what happened because my shit froze, but the audio continued to play. So, but yeah, Andrea felt away because she, you know, felt like she was uh, being excluded. All right, y'all, four more fucking reviews, and I'm done. So, Mary to Madison, right after this.